Oh man, I'm super excited because today, it's not a Porsche day, it's not an Aston day, today is a Audi S3 day and we're going to do something that I don't think has been done before. We're going to compare the APR tune on the Audi S3 versus the integrated engineering tune on the Audi S3. Let's go. That's right. We are tuning from home this here Audi RS3. So the first thing we got to do, start it up here. All right. I'm going to pull it out of the garage because what I want to do is I want to take this thing for a a quick drive or a last drive before tuning it. Then I'm going to bring it back. We're going to tune it. And then we're going to do a test drive of the car with the tune on it. So I kind of want to feel, because I've been driving the, the 911 recently. So I want to remember what this one feels like without the tune on it. So, so that I can have it fresh in my mind before we test drive it with the tune. So let's go. Yeah. Side skirts. I, I use two and a half play bars on this. <laughs> so I, I use a, a white um, professional Meguiar's play. Mm -hmm. I like the white purely because you can really see exactly what you're pulling off the surface. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was tree sap on here. There was a lot of tar and sort of um, iron oxide ferrous mm -hmm. fallout. But there was like this sort of yellowy orange to the, the white clay bar. I'd literally do sort of a small section, have to turn it over to refresh it. Mm -hmm. um, it could have been sort of overspray. I mean, you just don't know where this car has been. Man, it looks good. With this kind of color, you gotta get, you gotta do the paint correction. But yeah, we got the, the Audi S3 looking righteous. Man, that looks great. Your dad, so I'd love to see what yeah. the, the reflections look like, but I mean, you can just see how yeah. it's just wet. Yeah, it looks wet. Yeah, just the clarity and the gloss. Man, that looks good. So, there's a maxi kit, some little rear side spats, and then the front lip kind of finish off the front right there. There it is, man. I really, really have been enjoying this car. This is a this car is what they call a joy to drive. You know, you get in it, it's comfortable. It's got a nice little sound to it when you put it in sport mode. And I'll tell you, those brakes on that on that 911, man, got me spoiled. You can feel that turbo kick in at uh, about 2,500 RPM. I mean, this car is nice and peppy. They've made... So I've had almost every year of the S3 since they were created. Like, I had a 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, uh, 2020, 22. I, I mean, I had so many S3s that I have noticed when they have made improvements to the platform. And with this 2024... Let me turn that start stop back off. With the 2024, I've noticed that they fixed a lot of the issues that, uh, you know, I dinged them on in my my review. And I reviewed all of them, and they got a lot of views. 
So I like to think that maybe Audi saw my review and has made changes to the platform. All right, let's get on out here in the traffic. There we go. You can hear the turbo uh, whistling a little bit. It's not too loud. Let me roll the windows up just a tad. But yeah, they made a lot of improvements to this platform. So I don't have, to be honest, I don't have a lot of complaints. Uh, with the tune from APR, we should be going from about uh, right around 300 horsepower, 300 foot pounds of torque, just a little under, to right around 400 horsepower and 400 foot pounds of torque, roughly, There's, give or take a few horsepower. That's what's supposed to happen. So I should definitely be able to feel that. But like I said, this car is a little sluggish when you're already in gear and you press the the gas, it, it doesn't know whether to downshift or just keep you in gear. And if it keeps you in gear, sometimes it feels a little sluggish until the boost kicks in. So very curious to see how the tune is going to affect the behavior of how this car drives. If this is your first time tuning into my one of my videos, my name is Will Motivation. This is my channel where I like to share my experiences with some of the cars that I own, as well as how to get the cars because let's face it i've had some pretty crazy cars on my channel from lamborghinis to ferraris to porsches to audis or you know cars that are just very enjoyable but the point of this uh, channel is not only to share information and experience with the cars but to share information and experience on how to afford the cars make good financial decisions and uh educate viewers on uh, different parts of life that I'm able to share. So thanks for tuning in. Let's get to tuning this Audi. Ooh, loss of, uh-oh, tire pressure. All right, so what I'm noticing in my little cruise here that needs to be addressed <laughs> for the most part is the transmission tune. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tune the ECU and the TCU. So the computer uh, for the engine, and the computer for the transmission. I'm gonna do the tune for both. So you need a laptop, you need the APR little tuning device that plugs into the OBD2 port, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get on the laptop, go to their website, and set up the tune and get it cracking. But yeah, the transmission is sluggish. Like you press the gas and where it should downshift, uh-oh. Maybe I, maybe I got a nail in my tire, man. That sucks. But where it should downshift, uh, it's not downshifting. So let me see what's going on with this tire. All right. So I am connected to the vehicle through my laptop, through a USB cable. There's a little device down there, APR, connected to my USB port. So saying we need to identify your vehicle. Let's try this out. Continue. Gotta connect to this thing right here. All right, so I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so it asked me a few questions, basically what kind of tune I want. Stage one, high torque OEM TCU, all right. So we got the uh, um, automatic transmission, of course, in the Audi, so we're gonna do high torque uh, TCU. All right. Here goes the tune. Oh, there they go. There they go. Now it's updating on here. Uh-oh. Electrical system malfunction. All right, so, so far we're at 95%. Still got a bunch of stuff flashing. 98, 99%. Let's see what happens. So it says, start your vehicle and unplug your auto lead cable. So let's start the vehicle. All right, I'm gonna set this over here. <laughs> I just heard something interesting. <laughs> All right, let's disconnect this thing. Boom. All right, disconnect it. All right, sounds the same. 
Well, I guess we go take it for a test drive, but let me let me make sure the EC, TCU got tuned. All right, got the hood closed up. Let's see if we feel any difference in normal mode. All right, let's go. All right, so let me close up my garage. So, parking brake off. Okay, so I'm in normal mode. First thing I notice is I can hear the turbos <laughs> whistling under light throttle input. So I guess uh, that's to help with the torque, you know, on on hit hit of the throttle. Okay, there we go. All right, it's pulling pulling a little little nicer. Throttle sensitive sensi throttle sensitivity appears to have been increased the downshift is not as aggressive as the tune on my uh on my volkswagen oh dang i wanted to go right there all right so normal mode let's hit the gas real quick okay it's not as drastic as the uh integrated engineering tune on my jetta the Jetta, the throttle sensitivity is like on max. Uh, on this, yeah, it's still lagging on, uh, it's lagging the downshift. So that, the, so that transmission tune is not, I guess it tunes the torque, but the shifting points are not really adjusted, at least not in normal mode. But that integrated engineering tune on the Jetta, man, it, it changes the shift points and everything. In normal mode, it drives almost like sport mode. And in sport mode, it's like a bat out of hell. I like to see which car is faster. Integrated engineering tune versus APR. Now, I haven't gone full throttle yet. So as soon as we get a little space, we'll, we'll go full throttle. It kind of feels like stock slightly slightly more aggressive than stock right now I'm cruising around in drive mode i'm gonna press the gas 50 percent yeah it's it's kind of laggy at 50 percent throttle uh it downshifts one gear and just waits for the boot the boost to kick in it's not very snappy um so yeah it's not much of a TCU tune, if you ask me, compared to the, compared to the integrated engineering. Uh, I was hoping that the shift points will be a little bit more aware of the throttle. You know what I mean? But uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put it here in uh, we're gonna put it here in sport mode here in a second. All right, so <clears throat> I've about had enough with this normal mode. It does not compare to the integrated engineering tune. Uh, the difference that you can feel in normal mode in that Jetta with that TCU tune is dramatic. In this car, it's slightly, it's just like they turned up the boost and that's it. So I put the car in sport mode right now. So we're going to get up around this roundabout and hopefully the traffic clears up and we'll get on it a little bit. All right, so here we go. Sport mode. Let's see what it does here. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit a little bit louder uh not that much i guess faster i'm a little i'm a little uh disappointed i guess is what you can say let me see yeah i'm a little disappointed i just almost hit full throttle and didn't get a downshift or anything that's crazy okay so if you go full throttle all the way you know down to the kick plate then the car feels like it has a tune. But other than that, it's almost driving like stock. Yeah, it's it's no comparison to the integrated engineering tune for, for feel uh, with the TCU and the ECU tune. This is no comparison, to be honest. I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. Let's see. So, like... Yeah, we, I mean, when you go all the way to the floor, then it then it takes off. But your partial throttle, your halfway throttle, feels almost like stock. I mean, the kick down is no different than stock. 
Uh, man, honestly, I like to keep it honest. <laughs> I'm not sponsored for these reviews. And I hope I hope Integrated Engineering comes out with a tune because I'll definitely switch. I feel like my Jetta is faster than my S3 with that Integrated Engineering tune because, I mean, it's, this pulls... This pulls under full throttle, but like partial throttle. I mean, it, it pulls, you know, it pulls like it's tuned when you're full throttle. Let me put it, let me put it in uh, normal mode and do a full throttle. All right, so that was sport mode right there. I'll let these guys get ahead of me a little bit. Let's, yeah, we're gonna give you the honest to God truth on these reviews, no fluff. So there's just a lot of delay, a lot, a lot of, feels like a lot of lag in normal mode um yeah but regular driving it's like stock it's there's just slightly more boost i think going in you can hear the turbo spooling a little bit more there's slightly more boost but not not enough to write home about or to even say you know this is good i feel like this is like an all or nothing tune like you hit full throttle then you get all the boost but everything all the other driving characteristics under normal driving scenarios feels just about like stock now if that's what you like then you'll probably be happy with this tune but if you've experienced the integrated engineering tune uh like on a jetta gli for example you know same engine i believe the same transmission transmission might be a little bit different they're both but they're both uh dual clutch but if you've experienced that and you compare it to this that integrated engineering tune is way better like the way i mean you feel it immediately man like the car is way more enjoyable to drive. This feels like stock, unless you go pedal to the metal. Ah, uh, man, this is disappointing, to be honest. All right, let me turn around, put the car back in sport mode. Damn, a little disappointing. I mean, I'm not saying it's a complete failure because the car does, it, it's definitely f faster and there's more boost under full throttle, but like under partial throttle, uh, it feels stock completely. I mean, slightly more. All right, let's see what happens here, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely getting more boost, but that partial throttle is lacking, man. It's it's lacking. It almost doesn't feel linear. It doesn't feel proportional or something. It seems like there should be more, more solid boost or solid pull under partial throttle, but there's not. All right, so that's my review so far, a little disappointed. Uh, maybe if I never had an integrated engineering tune, maybe I feel a little better about this. But um, having that integrated engineering tune on my GLI, I mean, it's a night and day difference. Like, I would much prefer to drive that GLI daily. Let's see. All right, let's get back to the house. All right, so now it's time to put the tune, the integrated engineering tune on the Audi S3. The interface is a lot different, actually. Um, with this interface, you don't use the laptop, you use your cell phone. So let me open. Oh, dang, I opened the trunk. I meant to open the hood. Let's pop the hood. Maybe I should hook this up to a battery. Maybe I should hook this up. Hook the battery up. I think we got plenty of battery charge, though. So. I think we got plenty of battery charge, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. But you're supposed to, for safety, put... Not safety, but like, so you don't brick your ECU. You're supposed to put it on um, on a charger. Yeah, look at that. Crispy clean Audi S3. So you're supposed to put it on a battery tender. In case your battery dies while you're tuning it, you could brick your ECU. But we got plenty of charge. So let's plug this in and get started. All right, let me try to zoom in. So I'm getting ready to tune. The nice thing about this integrated engineering setup and tune is, let's try to zoom in, focus in on it. Um, they give you an app. So like on the APR, you actually have to use the laptop and connect to the OBD2 port, which they, I think they have an interface for that too, for integrated engineering. But they have this app you can download, and you can do it wirelessly through PowerLink. So I had the car off, so I'm getting ready to connect. So all you have to do is connect to the little um, device, the little um, OBD2 wireless device from Integrated Engineering. You connect to it with this app, and then you go and select the tune. And a few minutes later, the car will be tuned. And it's a little faster because I don't, I'm not going to tune the transmission with my Audi this, this time, like I did with my, um, 
my uh, Volkswagen. We're just going to tune uh, the ECU. All right, so I got to register my VIN. So I'm going to go ahead and tune the car because I did that in my last video. So you guys don't have to see that in this video. Um, but essentially, um, I'm going to register my ECU, process the tune, and then uh, we'll be on our way and we can do a test drive. Tune was actually pretty quick to do. So let's take this thing for a drive and see how it performs compared to the APR tune, which I don't mean to bad mouth the, the APR tune. I just was just a little bit underwhelmed because I had such a great experience tuning my uh, Audi, not my Audi, my Volkswagen Jetta GLI. I had the TCU tune, the ECU tune, and that car ran, buddy. I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the tune. So if you have a, a, a Jetta GLI or an Audi um, or a Volkswagen product, Integrated Engineering does an awesome job. So I think they're working on the TCU tune for the Audi uh, S3. So hopefully they get that done. And, it, and once that's done, I think it's done for some versions of the TCU. Uh, so if you can get it, try to get it because that will transform your S3 to where you would think you had uh, an RS3. And I, and I don't say that lightly. In my last Volkswagen video, a lot of people were like, you know, better comparison. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what it feels like. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I got to let the car warm up a little bit. But already... The thing that I'm noticing as a difference between the APR tune and the IE tune is there's much better mid-range torque uh, in the integrated engineering tune than the APR tune. So once the car gets warmed up a little bit while we're driving here, uh, we'll try out the full boost and we'll put the pedal to the metal and see uh, how that feels with the integrated engineering tune. But what I was saying, man, Get the TCU tune if you can because that is night and day difference between stock and um, tuned with the transmission. I mean, my my um, my Jetta GLI was crazy, man. It felt like it felt like a, a, a little rocket ship, man. That thing would that thing would peel out and you know smoke the tires if if you wanted to off off throttle. But so far, this is running smooth. Yeah, it's got a little bit better throttle response. I don't have the TCU tune, and I wish I did. So, um, but we're, um, I, I'm thinking I'm going to move to an RS3. So, integrated engineering, man. You guys got to do some products for the RS3. You got to, because I would love to tune my RS3 by integrated engineering. I'd love to do the TCU tune by integrated engineering on my RS3. That would be awesome. So, we're going to get an RS3 next, I'm pretty sure. Um, this S3, with this integrated engineering tune, um, the power levels should be close to a stock RS3. But the one thing that's missing is the sound and some of the body styling of the um, RS3 that I really like. That's the one thing that's missing. So, uh, stay tuned. We're going um, to go order an RS3. So... No shots fired at the S3 because I love the S3, man. Probably my favorite daily of all time, the whole platform, S3, R3 platform. Okay. So I got a little bit of a... Uh... Man, it sounds good, too. I got a little bit of traffic in front of me, but let's do full throttle and see how this integrated engineering um, feels at full throttle. Here we go. I'm going to put it in sport mode. I'm going to downshift. <laughs> oh snap yo okay yeah it's a, it's it's official <laughs> as expected man as expected now comparing it to the APR tune at full throttle I would say it's about the same and if you look at their horsepower numbers I think they are about the same let's see yeah, yeah this is good this is good approved 
awesome job, man, from the integrated engineering team. You got an S3, consider integrated engineering. Um, get the TCU tune, though. Get that TCU tune if you can. Um, and integrated engineering, if you're watching this video, I need a tune for the RS3. I need a tune for that TCU and the ECU on the RS3. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, well, well. It's the next day. And I decide we're going to order an Audi RS3. So I'm on my way to the dealership now. And uh, yeah, say goodbye to this S3. It's been fun. <laughs> but I'm more of an RS3 type of guy. All right. the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm here to tell you guys to go to Wheel Motivation. The exotic cars is crazy. I've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing. But we need everybody else to subscribe to Wheel Motivation and support Wheel. I'm supporting them. You do the same.